Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I have another Lightroom quick tip for you. So somebody sent me in this idea a while ago and at first I thought, why would you want to do that? And then after playing around with it for a while, I thought actually that's actually not a bad tip. So normally if you have an image and you want to crop it, you just basically use the crop tool and it's fairly straightforward. You click on the crop tool and then you just drag it to adjust your image the way you want it. Fairly straightforward, nothing particularly exciting there. Um, but what somebody had sent me in was they were basically using Lightroom as if it was a virtual enlarger. So uh, for those who don't know, an enlarger is um, what was used in the film days when printing. And you could kind of adjust the zoom of the image using basically using the lens onto the paper that you were projecting the image onto. Um, I'm sure I'm not describing this the best. And I'm sure if there's somebody out there who still shoots film and uses an enlarger, they will correct me. Um, but basically, anyway, that's the way it worked. So it turns out you can actually use Lightroom like this as well. Now, I just want to point out, I'm only showing you this because I thought it's interesting and it's something that people might be interested to know. I, I don't think there's any real reason to use this, but um, there are there is kind of one advantage of it, but I'll get to that in a second. But just first, let me just show you what I'm actually talking about. So if you scroll down in the develop module all the way down to the transform panel. So instead of cropping, what you can do is use this transform tool so we can scale up. So using the scale tool, and now we can use the offset tools to move our image around. So again, this kind of similar crop to, we had to what we had a minute ago. And there we go. So the, the only real difference of this is when you do it this way, you're not reducing the resolution of the image. So when you crop, you're you're literally just cropping and a, your image will actually be smaller when, once you're finished. Whereas if you do it this way, the image retains its resolution. Now it will get slightly softer, obviously, because you're scaling up, but that is kind of the big difference. So. Is there any real reason to use this? Uh, I don't know. Some people, I guess, if you're used to working in the film way, you might find this more natural to you. Um, I don't know. But it's one of those things I thought was just, it was interesting enough and kind of different enough that it um, that I wanted to share it with the audience. So there you go. That is, and that is the extent of this super short video. Uh, so I hope you found this useful. And as always, if you do, please like, share, and subscribe check out my Patreon feed and we'll see you in the next video and hopefully the next one will be a little bit longer. But again, I just thought this was interesting. Okay, see you next time. Bye.